You might have seen this new survival game pop up on your YouTube feed and wondered, is that for me? So in today's video, we're going to be doing a quick breakdown on Sons of the Forest and try and answer that question for you. We're going to be covering the good things about this game as well as the bad. This game originally went into pre-release back in 2023 and just recently was fully released. Alright, so let's break this game down. This is a survival game, but it's a lot different than other survival games I've played based upon the lore and the backstory going on on this island. Upon starting up a world, you're greeted with an awesome helicopter crash. From here, you're forced to survive in the world, and at first, your only companion is a deaf man named Kelvin. So the overall graphics and mechanics on this game are really nice and it's got a very smooth feel to it. These awesome graphics really stand out when you're in the middle of a forest or up on the top cold mountainside. This really adds to the immersion, making you feel like you're really trapped on an island in the middle of nowhere. This sense of being alone, however, will lead to quite a few jump scares. You always gotta be on the lookout for the cannibal tribe that roams the island. There's also many different mutant creatures that are roaming around that look like an experiment gone bad, and the little baby ones really remind me of the Flood from Halo. So this game offers all kinds of building from chopping trees and building all kinds of random devices as well as finding recipes in caves to build some of the most outlandish stuff that you've ever seen. And that leads me to one of the things that holds this game down a little bit and that's in the crafting system. Sometimes it can be really hard to navigate the crafting book and figure out what you're trying to build and how to build it. It can be pretty time consuming as well as frustrating but in the end the reward is definitely worth it. Where this game really shines is in the multiplayer. If you have a couple of friends that like survival games and want to get on and try and live on a survival island, this is it. Another cool part you'll find about hosting a multiplayer server is many random people will join the game and you can make some pretty cool friends this way. There also is no better sight than watching your friends get chased around by huge mutants as you sit and observe in a golf cart. That leads me into my next point. Traveling around this island can sometimes be difficult, especially if you're trying to hoof it on foot. They do add in some powered unicycles as well as the golf cart, which I believe is the best form of transportation even over the glider. You're given the option to craft all different kinds of armor as well as come across the ancient armor which is a gold suit and kind of makes you look like C-3PO. What makes the forest feel really alive is all the wildlife roaming around from different biomes. Another thing, you'll be able to find fish in streams and be able to spear them. You're kind of told in the opening cutscenes you're looking for a missing family, but the overall objective is never stated to the player. You just kind of find clues around the island, and this kind of adds to the fun of it. By just trying to survive, you come across some points of interest that'll lead you to different bunkers and different caves. While going through these caves and bunkers, you'll find certain things that you're going to need later on, like shovels, key cards, tools, and weapons. Some of the stuff is going to be required to find in order to be able to unlock certain areas in the map. Some of the stuff can be really confusing, but the deeper you get into the game, the more it starts to make sense. This game definitely offers quite a bit of playability and hours of content and can really be a challenge to get started at first and get your feet on the ground. But if you have teammates and get some good weapons, it really can be rewarding. This game also offers multiple seasons, which is kind of cool to start off in summer and slowly build your house up before winter and the snow comes. Another thing that seems to hold this game down is the ammo spawns. It seems like it's really hard to come across shotgun, revolver, or pistol ammo. This can be really annoying when you only come across 10 or 20 rounds. One way they could fix this is increasing the amount that spawns in the current locations. They wouldn't even need to add more spawn locations. Having a decent supply of ammo would make this game so much more enjoyable, not always having to worry about not having a good weapon. In Sons of the Forest, you'll find yourself digging up graves, scuba diving, and wondering if you're the only normal person left alive. That's all I got for you guys on Sons of the Forest. Let me know if you play this game or you're planning on playing this game down in the comments. But with that out of the way, I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed today's video and don't mind subscribing, it really helps the channel. We'll catch you in the next one.